Their celebrations throughout each phase had been muted until now. Confirmation they had achieved what was thought an impossible dream, landing a spacecraft on a speeding comet. Earlier they had received encouragement when the scientists received this farewell snap, an historic moment in itself in space exploration as the dishwasher-sized space probe left the mothership. The successful deployment brought smiles to these frazzled scientists in the control room at Darmstadt in Germany, the trickiest phase of an epic 12-year space adventure. Rosetta had already sent back extraordinary images of Comet P67 churyumov gerasimenko It looks like a duck. The head and body are thought to be two comets that collided. But the detail shows massive cliffs and boulders as big as houses. The next stage of the mission is taking place right now. We now know the lander named Filet has successfully travelled down to the comet's surface, but they're still waiting for data. The approach was slow, walking speed less than a metre per second. Any mistakes and the lander could have simply bounced off. There's barely any gravity to hold it down. The plan was for Filet to use ice screws and harpoons to anchor itself to the surface. Every hurdle cleared is a triumph to this dedicated team. It's been an enormous success. Nobody's ever done what we've done, which is to go into orbit around the comet, to study at this unprecedented detail, both in terms of pictures, but studying the composition, studying the material flowing away. But that's been a bit of a sideline until now for two reasons. Firstly, we've been preparing for landing, so we've had to, a lot of the data have been specifically about the landing site. But what we're really excited about is what happens next year, because as the comet gets closer to the sun, it will heat up, warm up, Gas will flow away, water, other, other molecules bringing dust away. This comet will turn its tail on. So if you like, what we've learned so far is about a sleeping dragon. But if you've seen films, what people are really excited about is when the dragon flies through the sky breathing fire. That's next year. It's taken 10 years in space and 4 billion miles to reach this point. Now Filet will start a process of what's being called scratch and sniff to discover the consistency of the object and the gases it's emitting. The lander has over 50 hours of battery life. Scientists are hoping solar cells will prolong its mission still further. Well, obvious jubilation here that they've landed on the treasure chest, but now they have to open it to find out whether it was a comet like this one that delivered the building blocks of life to Earth. Now the scientists and mission leaders wait for the data to flow back from this extraordinary encounter an achievement in itself as the information has to travel over 300 million miles.